half shark. Shark Man. Yep, today's movie is Shark Man from the mid 2000s, also known as Hammerhead, Shark Man, Man Shark, Head Hammer, whatever the hell this movie's called. The one where the dude is a shark and the man. And, well, that certainly hasn't happened before. Or at least I think. Anymore. Let's just get right into the movie. Shark man. That's wanna go man. <laughs> now the first thing I will say is it seems this movie is known as Shark Man and Hammerhead. It seems both are names for this movie, question mark. To be honest, I'm not sure as Hammerhead makes more sense, and that probably is the name, but then Amazon lists the movie as Shark Man, so uh, I'm not really sure, and nobody online seems to be all that sure either, and to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Regardless, the plot is about as generic as it gets. A scientist is looking for the cure to cancer and tries to mix shark DNA with human DNA, then a mad scientist turns it into this creepy, horrible hybrid thing. The story just gets more and more creepy as he wants to find a host for the shark man to impregnate and sees the crazy dude sacrificing women to him. Yeah. In the meantime, our cast of characters go to this crazy person's island to see his research, and well, it doesn't go as planned, and I'll leave it at that. The island really is a entire shtick that reminds me of Jurassic Park, honestly, but you know, done poorly. The story is really bad on a number of levels, actually. The characters are underdeveloped and are beyond bland. The way the movie progresses becomes steadily creepier and creepier, and has borderline rape multiple times. Like, it made me feel uncomfortable, and it was increasingly creepier as the movie continued. It was bad. Oh yeah, it was bad. And the plot really comes off as generic as a whole, to be honest. Like, this plot is bad on a few different levels, and as much fun as it would be to completely tear this movie's plot a new asshole, what even is the point? It made my friends and I uncomfortable, it had questionable themes at best, a boring substandard plot behind it, and characters that are about as interesting as the mailbox on the corner of my work they aren't. Then don't even get me started when it comes to how this movie was filmed. I don't know who the hell filmed and edited this and said, yeah, this is good. No, it, it's not. This is just awful. Like the editing and the jump cuts in this movie are just atrocious. They cut every couple seconds. Like that's the entire movie. No scene really is sustained. It's all bad. Just cuts back and forth. There's a couple scenes in this movie in particular where it's like, legitimately every two seconds and it's just not only incredibly disorienting but it's making me dizzy like legit I was getting a headache watching the movie just because of how many quick cuts there are back and forth back and forth back and forth between all this crap it's like get this away I wasn't even drinking all that much from when the movie started and I started to feel a bit sick and then when I drank more I just had to look away in some of the scenes because there's just so many cuts the editing needs some serious work with this one okay so whenever it edits the uh, shark man on the screen, how is it? Well, for the early to mid 2000s, it's not awful. I mean, I, I can't say it's completely bad. I mean, it's bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not unredeemable. The design, I guess, is pretty good. It's kind of creepy. I, I mean, the shark man looks kind of cool, maybe. And I guess the fact that the shark is on land running around killing people, that's unique. The shark even hunts people in a forest at one point like Predator, so I guess that's that's definitely unique and something that isn't seen in most of these movies. So I guess extra points there for at least a unique setting and some unique kills. But some of the kills are really generic and boring and lame, and don't get me wrong, there's just there's really nothing to say about a good number of them. But there are some good ones here. There's a number of them that are not complete crap, and again, involve the uh, shark man stalking someone on land, which is definitely different enough from these other shark movies. These are more funny, though, in all honesty. Just seeing, like, a shark hunt people in the woods, like, that's good stuff. Most of the kills, though, are nothing to write home about and just kind of exist. Seeing the shark man grab people from out of the water was kind of funny, though. It, yeah, I really just don't have much to say about the kills, if you couldn't tell. When it comes to any of the special effects or CGI, these are both good and bad. The practical effects were decent enough. I'm not going to lie, there was actually really something there. So that's good stuff. Whenever there's practical effects, it is appreciated. But for every scene that there's practical effects, there's a scene with CGI. And yeah, this just looks awful. Like, it just looks terrible. Shark Boy and Lava Girl look better than this. I wish they used more practical effects, honestly. Would have been better. Any of the explosions, fire effects, stuff like that, it's just done really poorly as well. 
is really a mixed bag. It's not awful. I can give it that at least, but yeah, that's probably the best part. I mean, it was better than the consistency, which was just all over the place. I'd say the Shark Man is decently consistent throughout the movie after the first 20 minutes or so where he shows up very sporadic and it's very quick. We're talking less than 10 to 15 seconds here. Like blink and you miss it. Like it's all because of those really quick jump cuts that this movie loves with its poor editing. Like there's no sustained shots really of them and the movie honestly just needs some proper production and it would have been better. And then by the end of the movie I really didn't want to see the shark man and as he was seemingly trying to impregnate a woman against her will which if that doesn't sound really wrong then I think there's something really wrong with you so yeah the shark man uh, I'd rather just move away from that topic now we can talk about the acting in the movie which was bad there's no two ways about it it was bad there's nothing redeemable here some of it is really bad and most of it is just bad boring dialogue generic conversations stiff delivery yeah, they're about as interesting as a plank of wood. There's just nothing really of note here. Nothing even remotely close to decent. It's just bad. Um, so what's next? I'll tell you what's next, the conclusion. What do, overall, I think of Sharkman or Hammerhead or whatever this stupid movie's called, I think it sucks. Pure and simple, it sucks. It's not the worst movie I've seen, but it's pretty damn bad and it's a terrible shark movie. There are some funny aspects to it, such as the scenes where Sharkman is literally running around in the woods killing people and hunting them down and some decent practical effects but for the most part it's pretty much unredeemable in terms of how bad it is the editing made me want to throw up the acting was just bad and the movie just made me feel uncomfortable as a whole and the plot was a waste i guess the idea of the movie isn't that bad i will give some credit to the design i mean there was that but the movie just is not worth watching they're really it, it, yeah, no, it's really just not even worth watching. Even watching with the boys and some fireball whiskey, it just really didn't make this movie resonate anymore with me. And watching sober, well, that just does not sound like a good time at all. It's pretty obvious what the movie gets on the shark scale, it gets a 1 out of 5. The movie's bad, I don't recommend it. I don't care what the correct title of the movie is at this point because it's just a waste. There's nothing redeemable about it, and the movie is best left forgotten. Well, have a good one, guys. Merry Christmas.